Hello everyone, today we're going to look at frequency and frequency tables. The frequency of something is how often it occurs. A relative frequency, which we'll also be looking at, is the ratio or the fraction or the proportion of a number of times something occurs. So we're usually given the raw data, so the data points, which in this case is number of siblings, and we're going to create a frequency and a relative frequency table. So we're going to have the following uh, columns, number of siblings, frequency, relative frequency. So one thing we have to do is count up how many total data points we have. So if I count them all up, I have 16. So the total is 16. The number of zeros is 2, so the frequency is 2. The relative frequency is the ratio. Remember, ratio is the number that you have divided by the total. So the relative frequency will be 2 over 16, which is 1 over 8. You can leave it as the fraction, or you can put it as the decimal, which would be 0.125. So again, for the relative frequency, we take the frequency and divide by the total. So you get 0.125. The number of people who have one sibling is 5. There are 5 ones. And 5 divided by 16 is 0.3125. The number of people that have two siblings is 3, and 3 divided by 16 is 0.1875. The number of people with three siblings is also 3, so the relative frequency is the same. The number of people with four siblings is 2, and again 2 divided by 16 is 0.125. The number of people with 5 siblings is 0. 0 divided by 16 is 0. And then the highest number that we have, 6, has a frequency of 1. And that is a decimal of relative frequency of 0 0.0625. We always want to have a total. Our total should be 16, which we counted earlier. The relative frequencies, when I add them all up, should be 1. Remember, relative frequencies are the ratios, the fractions, the proportions. If I add up all the fractions or all the proportions, I should get 1. So I always make sure that total relative frequency is 1. We could also add in what's called a cumulative relative frequency. And the cumulative means combined or total or added. So we're just going to add the previous relative frequencies together. So given the following numbers that represent hours slept, we're going to create all three tables. So again, one of the first things you want to do is count how many numbers there are, and there are 20. And this is usually denoted by n. The sample size is 20. So we're going to have hours, frequency, relative frequency, and cumulative frequency. So there is one person who slept three hours. 1 divided by 20 is 0 0.05. The cumulative frequency, there's, it's only been 1, so that is the relative frequency, 0 0.05. 4, there are none. Relative frequency of 0. And if I add 0 to the previous cumulative frequency, I get 0 0.05. For 5, there were 2 people. That gives a relative frequency of 0 0.10. And now I'm going to add my previous cumulative frequency to my next relative frequency and get 0.15. For 6, there was one person. 1 divided by 20 is again 0 0.05. 0 0.15 plus 0 0.05 gives me 0 0.20. So this cumulative frequency, what it's doing is it's telling you how many people slept at most 6 hours. So anything from 0 to 6, 20% of the population, or the sample, depending on which one this is, um, slept at most 6 hours. The next one is 7. There were 7 people. That's a relative frequency of 0.35. Now my cumulative frequency is 0.55. And then we can continue filling it in. There were 6 people that slept 8 hours. Relative frequency of 0.30. Now my cumulative is now 0.85, 9, there were 2, that's 0 0.10, 0 0.95, 
10 hours, there was one person, 0 0.05, and then notice 0 0.95 plus 0 0.05 should give me 1.00. The cumulative frequency, I add up all the, frequ the relative frequencies, that is 1.00. And then total, again, we knew there were 20 of them. One, and then I'm not going to add up all of the cumulative frequencies because I was already adding them. But again, these two numbers should both be 1 because I'm adding up all of the relative frequencies. And let's do one more. The following are students' favorite colors. Red, blue, green, blue, green, red, yellow, yellow, red, green. I'm going to create a frequency and relative frequency table for this data. So your numbers don't have to be quantitative to do this. You can have qualitative data. You can have categories. The only thing that we don't do with categorical data is the cumulative frequency doesn't make much sense. So we just do frequency and relative frequency. So the number of people that chose red is 3. And if we add up how many um, colors in total were chosen, how many reds, how many blues, how many greens, how many yellows, we get 10. And 3 divided by 10 is 0 0.30, so the relative frequency for red, 0 0.30. Blue, there were two people. That's a relative frequency of 0 0.20. Again, if I did have cumulative relative frequency, it would tell me that 50% chose red or blue. And that really doesn't make much sense. I don't care how many people chose red or blue. I care about how many people chose red, how many people chose blue. Green, there were three people. So again, that's a relative frequency of 0 0.30. And yellow, there were two, so 0 0.20. Again, in total, if I add them up, I should be getting 10 in the frequency column and 1 in the relative frequency column. Okay, so read through the book. Try out the homework, and let me know if you have any questions. Good luck.